Hello everyone, Firefly780 here with a new game series I would like to show off for you. This is Numa, The Breath of Life. This is on my Xbox One. I picked this game up a few months ago when it was one of the free games you get every month. It looked something different, so I figured I'd give it a try, and I ended up really enjoying it. So, you know, I figured why not record it. This is a game about a character who starts off in total darkness, nothing around him, and then he eventually to creates this reality around him and claims that everything is bending to his will, that he's some kind of god, but it's... This game is a self-realization game, and he grows and learns and adapts and puts his own meaning to things as the game progresses, and I hope you will enjoy this. Without any further ado, let's get started. Let's just do a new game here. And uh, he has quite a lot of dialogue in this game, so I won't be saying too much. And I'll let him tell his own story anyway. I hope you enjoy. In the beginning, me. I, I, I'm awake. I'm alive. I can feel it. Life flowing through me, breath, thought. A few seconds ago, there was nothing, but now here I am. Well, there's only one logical conclusion. I am God, and, and this is my universe. It's pretty cool. But it's too dark and silent, and formless and void. Not fitting for a God of my stature. Mm. Let there be light. Oh, and there was. Oh. <laughs> wow! Oh, I must be God! I can move! I can I can talk! I can walk! I hover to and fro above the infinite surface, a plane as it is. This is amazing! My universe! A bit bland, but a bland universe is better than no universe. Still, I feel the need for progress. I need a direction. I need a destination, an end to my beginning, an omega to my alpha. But how can there be progress without a destination? Aha! A path! A narrow path that leads to a destination. Progress! Ah, before me, I see a large wall. I press on and walk through the wall like a ghost. Nope, walls are solid, can't do that. Note to self, cannot walk through walls. A button! Push the button, escape the box. I control the world with a wave of my figurative hand. Though, being God, I have no need for hands, apparently. I think I need some trimmings. You know, something to spruce the place up a bit. Make my universe heavenly. Something to reflect my wealth and godlike status. Grand. It needs uh, color. Gold. Lots of gold. To reflect my immense wealth and abundance of goldness. Also to reflect my love of reflective metals. Whoa. Okay, that's it. A temple. That's the right kind of place for a god to live. If I bend my figurative knees and jump, the world moves downwards, away from me, the center of my own little universe. I translate the world as if it were mine, well, you know, which it is. Another wall? I must continue to progress in spite of this challenge to my authority. As I move forward, the world approaches me. I am literally the center of the universe. As I turn, the world rotates around me. I am pivotal. I bring a new meaning to self-centered, you know, what with being the center of all things. As an artist, I need to define my influences. Who are my influences? Well, myself. I inspire myself. 
I am inspirational. I aspire to be myself. <laughs> Perfectly. Now I can relax. Thinking time is over. Lead me, Path. Lead me to my destination. Onwards. A passing gate is a sign of progress along my path. I must admit that I rather enjoy the progress. However, it seems I am met with a new challenge at every turn. These challenges require knowledge. Slightly worrying. As a god, I consider myself all-knowing. Why is it I must stop and think? Knowledge is obscured from me. All these eyes watching. Makes me a bit uneasy. Not a fan of onlookers, to be honest. That which I can see exists. Ah, oh, a bench. Brilliant. Something to rest my figurative head upon from all that adventurous walking. But I must be honest with myself. As a god, I feel no real need to rest. Don't know why I made a bench. Doesn't really make sense. Maybe I should rest as an example to others. Uh, oh, no, there are no others. Don't understand why I filled the place with pots, either. I don't have anything to store. Maybe I should make lemonade. I need to invent lemons first, a few other things too. Time to start a list of inventions. Lemons, a lemon press, sugar, the abstract concept of sweetness, a tongue. I definitely need a tongue, but I need a body first. Legs, I want legs. Then I can have footsteps to accompany my walking. I find myself awfully ethereal currently, even for a god. A door that opens only when watched. Yet more evidence of my centrality to this narrative. It makes me wonder what is in the next room before I enter. Is there anything? Is it sated? Is it culled because my mind does not have the power to imagine the whole world at one instant? Oh, for the sake of sanity, I choose to believe the world around the corner exists. Hiding, but I'm afraid not even you could escape my powers of observation. Wow, so many books, years of reading. But why would God read books that he's written? Then again, books written by God would be the best books. Why, why would I read books that I haven't written? I should write my own book, a book set apart from the rest. I wouldn't know what to call it. Autobiography, maybe. A brief history of life. Numa presents himself in Numa. Critics have called it the best book ever written. Winner of every writing prize for writing. The hallway called it the best book since records began. A small bench said it was a record-breaking record of historical records. Oh, I don't know what kind of book I would write if I didn't write an autobiography, though. Maybe uh, a piece of fiction. I could tell stories of magical doors that only open when watched. Maybe stories about a little wooden boy come to life. Maybe I'd write science books. As the creator of the universe, I could easily write an exhaustive science textbook. I mean, if I got something wrong, I could just change the rules of the universe to match the book. I could keep changing the laws of the universe and write new revisions. I could write every book on the face of the universe. There's still every book to write and forever to write it in. 
I notice how things further away seem smaller. An increase in distance causes a decrease in size. This is called perspective. The irony is the implication. I must be the biggest thing in the world. Where did all this marble come from? Because 